Well, welcome. Well, today we have on with us a couple folks that have been on with us uh, several times in the past. One I think you know pretty well because she's been on uh, pretty recently, your Orange County Supervisor of the 5th District, Lisa Bartlett. Good to see you. Good to see you again. Great to be back. Yeah. And today we have on, I think it's been, we're thinking maybe it's been over a year, yes. uh, the County Clerk Recorder, Hugh Wynn. And Hugh, great to have you on. Thanks for having I me. I think here. it's been, it's, I think it's, it's been, been over, over a year. year. Yeah. yeah. But great to have you here today. We're going to primarily talk about the Passport Day that's coming up this weekend. But first, uh, I'd like to talk to um, Lisa because uh, one of the things that I was just talking with her uh, right before we went on about all the stuff that goes on and how you can get on her monthly email, sometimes it's more than just a month, but also uh, it's a way uh, by hooking up with that or just by going online to get to know what's going on in the county on a monthly basis. But not only that, you're out and about in your district a lot, and a lot of times you are at different events. Am I right? Yes, out in the district almost every, not every day, but a few days every week. Yeah. You know, we have 11 cities plus the unincorporated areas in the South County area in my district, and so there are a multitude of ribbon cutting events and, and other events every single week. Yeah, exactly, and you were here what, a couple of weeks ago, or something like that, for the Senior Summit, am I right? Yes. And I know you held a meeting recently along with uh, some, one of the people that were there was Sherry Horn from our mayor here, but the meeting was about the, the differences in the flight paths that uh, are going out of um, John Wayne Airport now. But you, yes. you hold these uh, public town halls uh, quite often. Yes, and it's really important to engage the public and educate the public about things that are going on at the county, things that could affect the mm -hmm. residents in the district, and bring everyone together for a, a good dialogue. Yeah, exactly. Now, if somebody wants to sign up, they can go to uh, your website. And the best thing I always tell people, instead of giving the full uh, website address, just Google Supervisor Lisa Bartlett. You'll find it right away. And then they can sign up for your email, yes. which I get. Yeah, And it's a great way to find it out really about is. what's going on in the district. Um, we send out the e-newsletter every Friday afternoon. Yeah, and what's really nice is it's not just maybe about what's going on in the county, but sometimes some fun events. I know a while back it was the, uh, I forget the name of it, but it was the Pet Festival that was up in Lake Forest. Yes. And that's how I found out about it, because of your uh, email. So you could find out a lot of different fun events that go on, and then information about town halls or... Uh, ways to contact you as well. Yes. Very good. Now, we're going to talk about the Passport Day coming up on June 3rd. But first, since it's been a while since uh, uh, you've been on, why don't you tell people about the Clerk Recorder Office? What do you folks do? Yeah, well, our office, uh, we issue birth, death, and marriage certificate, and also we uh, issue marriage license. So if you want to get married in Orange County, mm -hmm. you need to come and get a marriage license from our office. Also, we perform marriage ceremonies. We actually have a good time, and I know Lisa's done a few. Yeah. Uh, she's helped me with Valentine's and some other uh, big events we've had. And it's, uh, the couples are excited uh, to come to our office in Laguna Hills and get married. And so, beside those uh, things that we do, we do a fictitious business name. Uh, we have notary public registration, uh, oh, okay. and also passport. Uh, mm -hmm. Passport's been really, uh, booming this year. Uh, we've had an increase of like 40% uh, in Passport. Wow. And so it's been a, uh, a big uh, busy time for us at the clerk recorder's office. So I thought uh, a Passport Day, I was talking to Lisa about it, and I thought a Passport Day would be great to serve the South County resident uh, yeah, to, definitely. to come in. And, and the good part about our office doing Passport is uh, we also take photos, so mm -hmm. if you don't have oh, photos, you nice. can come in. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we just dropped our price down to ten dollars for photos, uh, which the board, uh, Lisa and the board of supervisors, nice. supported that, and that was a big thing. And also, if parents come in when uh, their children are, uh, is under sixteen years mm -hmm. old, both parents have to be there. So a really? Saturday would be oh, interesting. Saturday is very important because now both parents can make it. And if you happen to not find your sons or daughters birth certificate, mm -hmm. we have it if you're born in Orange County. There you so go. So it's like a one-stop shop. So um, I'm excited about the June 3rd uh, Passport Day. It's an opportunity to help the South County re resident now. Yeah, and some people may not realize that right down the road off El Toro, 
right across from uh, the mall that's uh, being redone right now, but everyone yes. knows that that uh, nice building that's there is a Gunna Hill Civil Civic Center, and there is your satellite office there, yes. which performs all these different uh, functions. And it, it's yes. been about three years, has it been? Yeah, since over two years. Um, well, we've been open longer than that. Okay. But uh, it's been over uh, a year and a half since we opened our passport. Okay, the opening. passport, yeah. Yes. And also, um, just so uh, everybody knows the hours, we're open from 9 to 4.30. And also we do real property recordings for individuals oh, nice. so they don't have to come into our office That's in fantastic. Central. Yeah, and so I just changed it a little bit. Now we have an actual document examiner there who's going to examine your documents. So now it takes five minutes instead of 15 minutes to record a document. Wow. And That's so, incredible. And also we just implemented the auto indexing. and. So the board of supervisor, Lisa, and everybody was very supportive. And we just won the NACO award already on it. So what it means is once uh, you record a document in mm -hmm. the past, it usually takes six to 10 days to, so you can view your, your image. Now with auto indexing, my staff doesn't have to do manual keying. So as soon oh, as nice. it's QC, all the fields are populated. It's yeah. filled in. So now we are less than 48 hours in the public can view. That's the really image. nice. Yeah. Now you I'm mentioned the increase of passports. Is that because people are traveling more? Or, as we know, a few years back, you did not need a passport to go to Canada or Mexico, where now you do. Is that the primary yeah. reason, do you think? Um, from what I'm hearing is there's many reasons. Uh, a lot of people are just nervous and scared of what's mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. And so everybody's coming to get passport. And also a lot of people are traveling. And so, yeah, it's been, we're, we're super busy. That's great. And passport. <laughs> now, Passport Day, which is coming up on this Saturday, it's from 9 to 3 o'clock. Do, uh, do folks need an appointment? Do they just drop in? You know, we recommend they have an appointment. Okay. And they can go online and make an appointment. Okay. And they should bring all of the, the requisite. It, online, it'll tell you what you need to bring. Okay. So it'll good. have the checklist with your, you know, items that you need to bring with you. It's one-stop shop. You can get your photos taken. It's a very cost-effective way to get a new passport. This is only for new passports, okay. not for renewals. So people need to be aware of oh, that. Oh, that's a good point. Yes. Now, as far as the cost, for the, I know it's $10 for the photo, but what's the cost of the passport? Yeah, it's $110 for okay. the actual book. Okay. Um, which you can travel anywhere in the world. It's good for and 10 years? It's 10 years, yes. Okay. And if you get a, uh, a card, it's um, $30 for a card, which goes to Canada and, and to Mexico. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So there's two types of Oh, I passport. didn't realize that. Yes. So mm -hmm. somebody thinks, okay, I'm not going to go beyond the Americas or North, North and right. Central America, so to speak. Yeah. They can just get the card. Yes. yes. Oh, that's bucks. a good point. I, I honestly didn't know that. Yes. Yeah. Now, if they do have a photo, can they bring it in and while they're standing there just text it to you or just email it to no, you? No, we, we, we have to attach the photo to all the applications. Okay, so it has to be an actual printed photo. Yes, right. Okay. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a good point Yes. Uh, to uh, come in and just spend the extra $10. Yeah, and, and you know what, we, we do a good job taking photos, make sure it's correct. <laughs> we know those passport photos. Make sure yes. it's correct because, yeah. you know, our air rate uh, when we send it to the state is like 95% mm -hmm. air rate where there's no return. Yeah. That's the key. And so, it's, it makes it easier for customers. We don't want it to return because then now there's a delay in their process yeah. of receiving their passport. So um, we do a great job in and that. And how long does it take for the passport by the time they get it in their hands? Right now it's four to six weeks. Okay, so That's people should figure our, that out. Yes. I mean, right yeah. now is a great time because Absolutely. I'm sure there are people who are, uh, have travel plans and maybe they're taking a cruise up to Mexico or up to Canada or something. Or, uh, uh, you know, we're beyond, right? And you know, they're going to need that passport. So now's the time to get it. Yes, that was yeah, one of the reasons point. why we wanted That's to have the the passport day at the beginning of June, so we can cover that lead time, so people have that four to six weeks lead time to get their passports. But yeah, right. it's a great opportunity for South County residents. They don't have to drive into Santa Ana or another part of the county. If you live here, right in South County, it's really and nice. just stop in at the Laguna Hill Civic Center on Saturday and get everything taken care of for your new passport. Yeah, that's really nice. And you have other satellite offices for different areas, so. Yes, we have offices in Westminster Community Center mm -hmm. and Fullerton, downtown Fullerton. Oh, great. And also at the Oak County Courthouse is our other office there. We also have archives there. In, at, oh, nice. At uh, the Oak County Courthouse, so. Yeah. I always uh, ask residents, you know, they want to come and look at some of the histories and old books that's that we a, have. That's it's a neat, amazing. Uh, people should just see that building. Yes. 
It has a lot of history there. Oh. And we have amazing photos from, you know, Orange County has been a county for 125 years, mm -hmm. and we have photos going way back. Uh, yeah. before the county was incorporated and it's really incredible to see the progress and the and learn about the history of the county yeah and it's that building by the way has been used in numerous movies yes, yes. but it is it is really fun I mean you can go down uh, go down to the courthouse and uh, spend some time in, in some, a little museum in there and see everything mm -hmm. and it is really cool if you haven't been there before yeah. but again if you need a passport please this Saturday is the time to do it but Go online, it's ocrecorder.com, and make a reservation because that's the way to do it. But And also, they'll know what to bring. What should they bring, just in case they uh, you know, need to start gathering their stuff? Yeah, there's a checklist that we have. They okay. need, uh, basically, their birth certificate, okay. an ID, mm -hmm. and um, basically, uh, the only difference I, I would say is they have to make two separate checks. And so you, sh you need to make a check separately to the U.S. Um, Department of State. Okay. Uh, it's a separate okay. check. You can do a cashier check or a check or a money order. Okay. Uh, that goes directly to the state. Okay. And so we charge five twenty-five dollar processing fee, and that you can pay with the credit card or anything you, you know, okay. cash. But I just want to make sure you have to bring a separate check. To, to pay An actual check you have to write out. They yes. can't just use a credit card. It goes card. to the, the state, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's why it's really important for people yeah. to go online because that's a good they can point. print out the checklist, they can see online exactly what they need to bring. Right. So they don't get there in line and find out they're missing a document. Yes, you don't take Apple or Google Pay. No, okay. All right. <laughs> just want to double check. The state will. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we have to know that. All right. Uh, once again, coming up this Saturday at the Laguna Hills Civic Center that's right down the street. Uh, you. You know, it's that Spanish-looking building that's over there across from the mall. From 9 until 3 o'clock, it's Orange County Passport Day. Now, go online to ocrecorder.com, put in your information there to, to make a reservation, and then you'll see all the things that you need to bring. Quick question. If they don't have their birth certificate, again, if they were born in Orange County, you can help them out. Yes. But if they haven't been, they have to contact that county yes. or wherever they were yeah, born. Yeah, absolutely right. Yes. Okay, so just to make, yeah. make sure. A copy or original? Do original. They, original. Yes. Okay. And also, I want to point out that walk-ins are welcome. Okay. So I just want to make sure the yeah. residents are aware that they can walk in too. We will, we're there to serve them. So. Okay. Great. Yeah. Good to see you again. Nice to see you again. Always a pleasure, Lisa. Always. We'll see you. Pleasure. I know we're going to see you next month, month for sure, sometime, right? Absolutely. And again, go onto the supervisor's website, sign up, and you'll get that weekly email. As I said, there's a lot of good information there. Often, there's just fun events that you may not know about that uh, the supervisor lists in her email. So a lot of fun. Good to see you both. Thank we'll you. be right back.